Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to convert this raster image into a vector using Photoshop. You can easily edit and open the output vector using any vector software such as Illustrator. Let's jump into Photoshop and get started. Let's start by creating a new document. Set width to a value between 2000 to 3000 pixels with any height you want, 300 resolution and RGB color mode. Then click Create. Now go to File, Place Embedded to import your image. Resize your image as you want, then press Enter. Pick any selection tool and make a selection around the part you want to vectorize. You can make your selection manually like that. Or for the newer version of Photoshop, just click on this Select Subject button to let Photoshop automatically make the selection for you. After making the selection, and with your layer selected, Go and click on this mask icon to isolate the object. Convert your layer to a smart object and delete this background layer with a delete key. Now let's apply some filters to our layer. Let's start with the oil paint filter from here. If your oil paint filter is missing or doesn't work, please check this video description. Just change it to 5, 3, 0 0.1, 0 and uncheck lighting. This will add this soft painting effect to your image like that. Click OK. And as you can see here, the filter is applied non-destructively as we applied it on a smart object. Now let's open the filter gallery from here. Inside the artistic folder, choose the poster edges filter. Change it to 10, 0 and 6. And this will add some thick lines to your image outlines. Now let's go to Filter, Blur, Surface Blur. Change it to 20 and 10. This will make the skin smoother and wipe the small details made by the previous filter and leave the obvious ones. Now hold the Alt key and drag the Oil Paint filter above the Surface Blur filter to duplicate it there. Finally, let's go to the Unsharp Mask filter. Set it to something like 150, 8 and 8. This will increase the sharpness and boost the details of the final effect like that. Now let's add some adjustment layers above our layer. Create a levels layer and leave it unedited for now. Create a hue and saturation layer, then drag the saturation slider all the way to minus 100. Finally, let's create a posterize layer. And here is the most important part. With this level slider, you can control the final output number of colors. For example, if you want a two color vector, just set the levels to two and you will get a black and white image like this one. And four will give you four colors image, black, white, and two levels of gray, and so on. Let's change it to four, then go to the levels layer. By moving any of the three sliders, you can control the density of each color like that. Just adjust your values depending on your image. I like my result at this point, but here is an extra tip for you. If you want more advanced control over your colors, you can create a new layer above your effect layer with an overlay blending mode. And with a brush tool, decrease its flow to around 5%. And start painting over your new layer with a black color to darken the existing colors like that. Or with white color to lighten the existing colors like that. Don't forget to create a clipping mask to limit your drawing inside the object layer below. You can use this result as it is. And if you want to vectorize it, just follow the next two steps. Before moving to the next step, let's hear from our today's sponsor. Skillshare is a huge online learning platform with thousands of premium classes for all creative and curious people. They have thousands of inspiring classes about graphic design, photography, illustration, filmmaking, freelancing, and much more. They offer almost 3,000 classes about Photoshop only. One class that I really like is the Photoshop Advanced Training Course from Daniel Scott. He has almost 14 hours of premium content for this class only. Unlike YouTube, Skillshare is 100% free of ads, so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. And for the first 1,000 people who join Skillshare from the link in my description, we'll get a one-month free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. 
Join Skillshare to boost your creativity today. Now let's get back to our tutorial. How to vectorize the previous result. First, let's save this project as a PSD file for any future use. Now select your layer while holding the Shift key. Then select the top layer to select all layers. Right-click them and choose Merge Layers. And with a Merge Layer selected, let's open the Color Range window from here. Color Range can be used to make a selection based on a specific color in your image. Just choose selected colors from this menu. And with the eyedropper tool, pick any color to make a selection around it. Set fuzziness to zero and uncheck invert. Then click OK. Just pick any selection tool and right click inside the selection and choose Make Work Path. Change tolerance to two or three, then click OK. And without going anywhere, go and make a solid color from here and click OK. This will create a shape or a vector layer like that. So a quick recap here. We made a selection around the black color, then converted that selection to a path and converted that path to a shape layer. And if you pick the direct selection tool, you will see the anchor points of your shape layer like that. And you can also edit it as you want using the pen tool. Now I just vectorized a single color of my image and I need to repeat the previous steps on the gray and white colors to fully vectorize my current image. And to save your time, I made a Photoshop action to make the whole process for you. Convert raster image to vector using a free action. Let's delete the shape layer we made and leave only the raster layer. Then go and open the actions panel from here. And from this little icon, let's import the action. You can download it for free from the description below under tutorial assets. Now select run. Select your layer and click on this little run icon. A color range window will appear. Just pick any color, then click OK. Each color you'll pick will be removed by the action to avoid repeating it again. Just keep picking the colors until you have an empty document. And once your document is empty, close the current color range window to exit the action. Collapse the action, then delete this empty layer. Unhide all layers. And here is the final vector result. You can scale it up to any value without losing its quality or export it to any vector software like Illustrator. And to export it to Illustrator, just go to File, Save As. And from this drop-down menu, choose EPS File Format. Make sure that Include Vector Data is checked, then click OK. You can double-click on any layer's thumbnail to change its color like that. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching.